Circle in downtown Grand Rapids. And that's where WZZM 13's Phil Dawson is tonight to show us why it is so popular. Well, Lee, this is the reason why I'm dancing with swing instructor Bree DeGraff. She and the other teachers taught me and dozens of other beginners how to swing here tonight in just one lesson. And if I can learn it, anybody can learn it. A little bit of money. While they're swinging, many dancers are also laughing and smiling. I love it. It's fun. It's a good way to interact with people. It's really relaxing. <laughs> Getting flung around all over the place. Bend the knees, jump, turn all the way around. Okay. Very good. Give her a hand. On Tuesday nights, 26-year-old Steve Zagman and friends supervise a swing dance at Rosa Park Circle in Grand Rapids. Ballroom dancing is making a comeback all around. So there's like this fever to learn something that isn't like the typical bump and grind that they're used to. It's good exercise to get to meet new people, and uh, it's kind of a lost part of our culture. So I enjoy uh, bringing it back. We're going to put guys on one side, girls on the other. Learning is a big part of the night. Many come for the lesson before the dance. This sounds like so much fun. I've always wanted to do it. Well, I figured, why not come check it out? I mean, it's a new experience, and it should be fun, right? <laughs> you can see people's eyes light up when they when they get the step, and they finally get that one move they've been working on for 20 minutes. And you can see which people those are. Those are the ones with a big smile on their face. <laughs> on a typical night, hundreds of people come to swing, and the dancers say it's surprising there aren't more. A lot of people don't give it much of a chance. And they come here and they see people dancing around, swinging, moving. They hear fun, fast, modern music. And they see people having fun, having a good time. And it draws them in. They like it so much, most people come back many, many more times. Lee and Juliet, the dance is from 8 to 10 o'clock on Tuesday nights. And you may have recognized Steve Zagman in the piece. He works for the Channel 13 Promotions Department. He does this completely on his own. Oh, and by the way, they ask for a $2 donation. It helps them pay for the cost of insurance. Live in Grand Rapids, Phil Dawson, WZZM 13 News. Thank you so much. Not bad. Phil looked okay out there. It takes a lot of week. guts to do that. <laughs>